Hey guys, welcome to another episode from Stacy. Here We Grow Again. Today I was mixing up my soil outside. It's like 70 degrees out. It's gorgeous. So we had like a little cold last night. Florida this time of year. Um, we live in Florida, zone 9B here. And this time of year gets crazy in January. It gets like 40 to 35 degrees at night. And then the days shoot up to 70. So I am in shorts and a tank top sweating out here. And while I was mixing up my soil, getting my containers ready, I did a video for you guys on basically how I combine all my containers ready for planting new because you know you want to save room you want to save space you don't want to go out and buy more containers you can definitely utilize what's here i had a citronella plant in here if you go back on my videos just on the tours of my lanai you can see the citronella i had in here and i needed to transplant it because it was getting so big and i put it in a pot like this so that was a nice step up for that even though it's um wider than this you can see it fits in this pot really good and i still have that extra space for that room for the citronella to grow in there so we're good that freed up an extra pot for me and then this i had some lettuce in lettuce lettuce and uh just a bunch of other lettuce in there and we're gonna plant more lettuce more um spinach we're gonna plant i think we're gonna plant some broccoli and some cabbage today though together so i've been growing some broccoli inside and i've been growing this hybrid variety and this is what i want to continue to grow because it actually it's an early breeding it's an early harvest variety and um sun king hybrid and um six to eight inch heads 71 days to harvest anything i'm growing right now is going to be in a container because um we're going to be moving and i have to be able to move everything so uh, also limited space it's great to do these are great for container varieties and usually one broccoli head is going to grow in a container like this so that's that's not even a gallon it's about a less than a 12 inch pot because this is a 12 inch pot across so i'm going to only grow one in here in this one and then i'm going to start one in here like my cabbage or my broccoli no matter what you're growing whether it's cabbage or broccoli they all grow the same those two so we'll do this together so we can kind of show you i was out here and i was mixing my soil up and i said you know what let me show them what i'm actually doing out here and how i get my containers filled up and stuff to plant new so these containers the lettuce that i pulled out of here if you go back yesterday from that video you can see i pulled the lettuce out of these containers now the soil that was left in here what i did was all you want to do is go through your soil like say we pulled this lettuce out we went through we're going to get any clump of roots out of there you want to go through your soil you don't want anything you know clumpy like this sitting in your soil because that's going to really create a drainage problem and this is straight coco loco in here pretty much and this is my burpee mix we put about a good few inches of that so about a good four inches of the burpee mix potting mix right here because we are planting in containers we need a good potting mix for vegetables herbs and the coconut core i've actually worked with it before and that's what you're seeing there the coconuts and it, it means you can water less often because this coconut core actually holds a lot of moisture within the husks and there's little pieces in here you can see it looks like hair and um that's basically what it looks like the little hair and that is the the uh, coconut husks I think I said corn husks but um that's the coconut husks and um coconut core I should say so um that really helps with the drainage and you can see when you squish this soil together and fist it it falls right apart and I can feel the moisture in the soil so the great thing about this is if you feel that this soil is damp you don't need to water because it's holding a lot of that moisture in it since my coco loco is a little muddy you can see this coco loco is a little muddy compared to that soil it's darker but my coco loco has got like bat guano in it and a bunch of other stuff so all i did was took this one little bucket it's like maybe a 10 inch across container and i dumped it in here with the four inches of my burpee soil so i can reuse the potting soil that was in them containers because all i did was grow some lettuce in there for about a month or two and that soil is still going to be good it still has lots of nutrients in it and we don't want to waste any of that good stuff so we're going to utilize that in our next con potting container you want to mix it good together get it all incorporated if you have to add a little bit of perlite we get the big bag of perlite 16 pound bag over here <laughs> we don't mess around and um we just put a cup in there or two and uh just eyeball it as much as you need now with broccoli and cauliflower brussels sprouts same way for all of them so we're not going to do separate videos on these they all like soil 
pushed down like compact now when I say compact I don't mean muddy I don't mean like a raised bed mix type soil this soil when you push it down all the way you want to crunch your soil down in that pot now this is only for broccoli and cauliflower because any other vegetable you do this with is not going to like this and appreciate it but broccoli and cauliflower really liked compact roots especially that you know you're growing it in a container you're trying to mimic that that ground for them the nutrients in there so you want to make sure you have a good potting soil with nutrients in it low nutrients in there is good perfect and then once it gets big you can start feeding it you're only going to feed it twice throughout its life cauliflower brussels sprouts and um, broccoli because they do not need much food they just need once or twice to help them along they need lots of nitrogen very little phosphorus potassium and potash but you can definitely give it to them more nitrogen than anything because they need that leaf growth to produce that little broccoli head you just want to pack it down and then you know you have good soil when you pack this sucker down and you can go ahead see that and it scoops right out like they're gonna like that their roots are gonna flow right through there it's not muddy you don't want a muddy nasty chunky soil you want a fluffy soil rich in organic matter this is all natural organic products in there so that is amazing that's why I go with this there's no the nutrients that are in there are organic so that's why I love to plant with it and then um you know I use my either my fresh compost halfway through the growing cycle to top off with with a little bit of my miracle grow nutrients or I go with like my Dynagrow nutrient system I have both nutrients I use and uh, feed it that way but we're only going to plant one plant in this little guy and you want to push it down pack your soil down make a little hole and we already got some broccoli sprouting in the house there but we're going to plant some more and as this grows I'm going to do this video for everyone that didn't have a chance to participate in the giveaway especially and we're going to do another video for you guys I want you guys to pick something out of my packet here so we're going to finish this up and then we'll get to that you want to pat it down you only want to bury that seed like that much because you bury it too much and it's going to get kind of lost in there water this really good this soil is a little bit moist so I'm not going to water it right this second but I am going to water it just with a little sprout of water, a little stream. You don't want to pull this out and you don't want to move that seed. And then keep it in full sun. They like eight hours of sun. And um, you're good to go, guys. Water it. Now, broccoli and cauliflower Brussels sprouts love to stay moist. You do not want to let this little guy stay dry or get dry. So always keep your soil moist and damp, not sopping wet. And you'll be good to go. Just check on it little by little. If it feels really dry, then you can go ahead and water. You shouldn't let your soil dry out completely, though, because it, your broccoli will get damaged. Um, unlike other plants that can usually take a little bit of a hit. They're kind of like, you know, think of them as a radish. You let that radish or carrot dry out, and it's going to go really cracking on you. Um, but we're going to pick something out of here, guys. So we're going to be growing some kale for sure. So I can either do that for you, step-by-step -step video. This is for everybody who couldn't participate. And um, we can either do the broccoli video, the kale video. Uh, cauliflower is going to be the same way, so we can just put that with broccoli. And uh, that's another broccoli variety. This is Calabrese broccoli, basically what you buy in the store, find in the store. We have gourmet blend lettuce, which we've grown before. We have white Paris lettuce, leaf lettuce, salad bowl lettuce, black seeded Simpson lettuce. <laughs> I love lettuce, as you can see. And um, we're going to pick stuff that we can harvest within, you know, three months. Carrots, we can do scarlet nates. We're going to do them in containers, so anything in containers. And um, short and sweet carrots, which these all I can do in containers for you guys. I don't want to really plant in the ground, but I sure can if that's what you want. And I can do both because I'm going to be doing a lot of these anyway. <laughs> Just let me know which one you want like a full video on from start to finish. And I'll be more than happy to do it for you in like a little step series. Some early scarlet globe radishes, which we grew. Denver half long carrots, sparkler white tip carrots. I mean, radish. Bloomsdale spinach. Cabbage, I really want to try, but I've never grown it before. So this would be interesting if you guys pick this. It is early golden acre. And I'm not really sure how to grow that, so I'll have to do some research. But um, I don't mind doing that for you guys. And uh, oregano, we have that that we've been growing. 
cottage garden, which is getting big out there. I love growing that. It's so easy too, beautiful. And um, some collards I think I wanna grow. I'm not really sure. I don't wanna really grow collards because I've never grown them before, but um, they look delicious. I've been looking them up online. So just let me know what you guys wanna grow. Um, that's all I have for now. I did wanna grow this black booty eggplant, but it's just not that time of year. This requires warm soil. So even though it says to, I can plant this from September to February, I'm not gonna plant this because I need to do some more research on it and make sure these seeds are gonna make it as plants um, to harvest. So I can't do that, but any one of these are fine. Go back and review them if you need to. Let me know what you think and what you want me to grow in these containers and just show you guys. If you need any help on anything with gardening, always comment below and let me know. I'm always here for you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, happy planting. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.